The Gaza Strip is one of the most densely populated areas in the world, with a growing population expected to exceed 2.13 million by 2020. Palestinians in the Gaza Strip rely on a small portion of the coastal aquifer, a shared water resource with Israel, as their only source of fresh water. The coastal aquifer basin stretches along the eastern Mediterranean coast, from the northern Sinai in Egypt, via the Palestinian Gaza Strip into Israel. Most of the water in the basin is abstracted by Israel, around 66% of total abstraction, while 23% is abstracted in the Gaza Strip and 11% in Egypt. The share of the aquifer allocated to Gaza is not enough to serve the needs of Gaza's population. As a result, Palestinians have long resorted to overpumping the aquifer by as much as 120 to 130 million cubic meters per year, a rate equivalent to twice the aquifer's yearly sustainable yield. Current water abstraction from the aquifer is estimated at 160 million cubic meters a year, well in excess of sustainable levels. With water being pumped from the aquifer at a higher rate than it can recharge naturally, seawater and surrounding saline aquifers intrude into this freshwater source, causing salination. Decades of overpumping and heavy pollution from seawater intrusion, wastewater, and agrochemicals have left the aquifer highly polluted with dangerous levels of chlorides and nitrates. The UN estimates that the aquifer will be completely polluted by 2016, with the damage irreparable by 2020. The vast majority of the coastal aquifer contains nitrates ranging between 100 and 800 milligrams per litre, and chloride ranging between 500 and 3,000 milligrams per litre. The acceptable level for nitrates in drinking water is just 50 milligrams per litre and 250 milligrams per litre for chloride. High quantities of nitrates and chloride in drinking water can have significant health repercussions, particularly for infants. مية مش نظيفة ومش نافعة ومالحة زي مية البحر احنا بدنا مية صحية عشان الأطفال والإختارية والكل الكليل مشاكل المية إحنا عنا مية البلدية هذه أكبر مشكلة بنواجهها إنه المية بتجيش دائما بتجينا يوم بعد يوم وجيتها زي قلتها بتيجي في الليل وبتقطع الصبح يعني بتيجي والناس نايمة وبتقطع والناس نايمة إذا إجت المية في الليل بتكون ضعيفة في ناس عندهم الدفاعات بسحبوا المية أنا اللي زي ما عنديش دفاع بتطلعش على الخزان فوق لا احنا عارفين نحمم اولادنا ولا احنا عارفين ندبر للغسيل ولا ندبر للجلي ولا ندبر للتنظيف في شغلات تانية فبتلاقينا بنعاني يعني بصير انا بعصب على اولادي بعصب على جوزي بتادي لمشاكل بيني وبين اولادي وبيني وبين جوزي تعالي شوفي قديش في عندي جلي انا عشان ميه البلديه فيش ميه بلديه هي الجلي مكون من امبارح بستنى فيها تيجي وما جاتش بدي اضطر اخذ من الجزائر هدول اعبي عشان اجري الجليات ميه البلديه كثير مالحه يعني بتبعدش ملوحه ميه البحر يعني أنا لما ما ما فيش مية حلوة لا يمكن نشرب من مية البلدية أنا كنت أشتري المية الحلوة من سيارات التوزيع ب 30 شيكل تقريبا في الشهر ولكن بعد ما إجتنا مؤسسة خيرية زودونا المية الحلوة ببلاش مجانا ووفرت علي كتير يعني بعد ما كنت أشتري بال 30 شيكل مية صرت أخذها أصرفها مثلا أكل وشرب لأولادي أجيب خضرة أجيب أكل
The problem of the water deficit in Gaza has actually started since 1948 and has increased gradually because of the increase in the population of Gaza, the refugees, and the increased need for this water without securing additional water resources. Of course, this is a political dimension of the problem where many refugees from the 1948 Palestinians came to Gaza and increased the stress on the coastal aquifer of Gaza. The portion of the coastal aquifer running beneath Gaza represents only a small percentage of the total freshwater resources available to Israelis and Palestinians. Israel continues to exploit 90% of the available fresh water for exclusive Israeli use, particularly the underground mountain aquifer in the occupied West Bank. While Palestinians have access to less than 10%, it does so in violation of international water law, which calls for these resources to be shared equitably and reasonably between Palestinians and Israelis. The principle of equitable and reasonable use of water would require Israel and Palestine to allocate their shared water resources in ways that would provide Palestinians with substantially more water than Israel currently allows the Palestinians to extract. Should the Palestinians get their rightful shares of the shared water resources, especially in the Jordan Valley, the mountain aquifers, and the coastal aquifer? And should the blockade on Gaza is removed, this will enable us to have sustainable water amounts for Gaza and the West Bank for the coming years.